Hello, it's Karen, the weekend craftaholic, and thanks for joining me for my April favourites. So this is my craft favourites for April, and I'm going to go through some things that are new and some things that are old. So this is all the stuff that's entered my little happy place, my craft room, that I wanted to share with you. So this is the stuff that I've been working on throughout April. So I'm glad to say that I've been able to post this a little bit earlier in the month than previous months. If you haven't seen this series before and you enjoy this video, then please have a look at the playlist, um, but definitely check it out. And I'll put some links as well of some of the most recent ones I've done. But we're gonna start off with something old this time. First thing I wanna talk about is my sewing machine. I have actually probably spent more time sewing than I have paper crafting this month. I've been wanting to get into this for quite a while. I've been doing a sew along with a lady that has a sewing class or studio here in Perth. And then also making some little projects. So if you saw my 2020 plans, you'll know that I talked about getting involved a little bit more in sewing this year and uploading more sewing videos. So that's something that I've been also playing with and practicing with. So I've got a few projects um, that is going to be coming your way pretty soon. So if you are here for the paper crafts, please don't switch off. Um, you can certainly subscribe to playlists rather than just the channel as well if you don't want to see those. There won't be too many of them, I have to say, because they are very time consuming to put together. Um, but I just love sharing those as well, so they will be included. The other big thing that I've been doing is card making. So trying to reach out and connect with people um, whilst in isolation. I've been very conscious sending family and friends handmade cards. So that's the other thing that I've been doing through the month of April instead of layouts I've actually been sending happy mail um, which again was something on my 2020 plans to do for this for this year so that was a it's been a great opportunity to do that and I just hope that when that recipient reads the card in the mail it's a nice little surprise out of the blue and it makes them smile even if for five minutes and takes their mind off the current situation we're in in the world so card making has been a big thing for me this month. Something old that's been in my craft room for quite a while is my watercolours. This is one of my favourite sets that I have. Um, I absolutely love it. I'm not an artist. I do not know how to use it. I just bought it to dabble with and have some fun. And I have to say, I've had a lot of fun sitting with the family in the garden, just having a chit chat with no pressure to create something, make anything perfect. I've just been doing swatches. I saw someone on YouTube doing this and I just thought it looked so cute. This is a particular swatch of this set. Um, and then I've done some more. This is a metallic set that I got. Um, and it's just um, a great idea. I mean, obviously I keep swatches of everything else in my craft room, like my inks, for example, and embossing powders. So I thought I would do the same with my watercolors. Um, as an example with my pencils. Um, I also even did some with my brushes, as you can see, my different brush sets and the sizes of those. So it's just been a lot of fun creating something to say without the pressure still being able to kind of do something creatively um i also did some techniques as you can see here um and made little notes for myself flat wash this was glazing and then this wetting wet i've got a few more still to do actually um again i've been watching techniques online and thinking right that's something that i need to try for myself so this is gonna be my little swatch book technique book and this one here is a big practice one so, you know we should never be afraid to practice and create and get things wrong you know we never start by being an expert and just experimenting in this way um it was it was quite freeing it was really a really good opportunity we've got the last of our autumn sun here in Perth we're heading into winter next month so it's been great to actually spend some time outside with these um, taking my craft room outdoors and having a play with these so um, I would absolutely encourage you to do the same especially if you're in a creative mental block it's good just sometimes not to have a goal in mind but just to to get those things out and see what creates and I think swatching is a great way to do that a couple of things that are new this month and the first thing that I want to talk about is something that we will all be very familiar with and this is scissors and I guess I got the idea to mention these because it's not really something even in my hits and misses um, that I've done which is like a yearly review. I never actually think of scissors but then when I think about it it's such an essential part of crafting and I've just got a bit of scrap paper here. I just want to show you uh, what size are these. 
they're like over two inches long it's about two inches long in terms of the blade these are from couture creations um, you'll see quite a lot of other crafters using these you'll be maybe familiar with this color um, cutter B have them they also um, I think EK tools and I've certainly seen a lot of crafters on YouTube using these as well so I thought I'd give them a mention I have actually been doing lots of kind of fussy cutting this month and these have been perfect and you can see just how easy they are to handle the cutting is super sharp I've not actually tried the Tim Holtz so I can't compare with those I know a lot of people also favor the Tim Holtz scissors I just I don't know I don't like the idea of a serrated edge I don't know why um, maybe I should just try them to check them out and compare but I just love how these cut um, they make it so easy your hands don't ache I think maybe because of this rubbery plastic I do have the we are memory keepers as well they're like a smaller size so these are my two go-to's but I've been finding I've been reaching for these a lot more if you've seen again previous videos you've been around a little while you'll know that I have this craft planner this is from chasing planner piece I absolutely love it love the color and I've used this probably for the last three years um, planning my craft what I need to do I've got any design teamwork or ideas for YouTube's layouts um, gifts I want to make all that kind of good stuff I've been using this but it is quite bulky and things kind of get lost because I've got them all in different sections now what I got hmm, maybe maybe December January is this super cheap and cheerful this was two dollars fifty from Kmart I paid I think sixty dollars just for the binder for this then I paid obviously extra for the insert so yeah it's when you compare probably the overall cost of this and this, obviously this is a winner. I've obviously decorated a little bit, so I've got my sticker books, as you know, are a big favourite of mine. I also got the little Me and My Big Ideas, the people who make Happy Planner, they do these mini stickers, which I got from Office Works. Kmart also sell little sticker books, which I'll link. And this is where I've got the digits from. So that this comes blank, doesn't actually show um, you'll see that the circles up so you could use it for any year so I'm gonna buy another one for the sake of $2.50 I'm gonna buy another one for next year just in case I am still sticking to this format I love the fact that it's black and white you can see that I've just kind of added a few stickers here especially when I've this is my YouTube schedule and what I've managed to do, to do. and I'll show you a blank month so July so you can see this is how it looks without anything in you can, as I say, add stickers. These are also part of the sticker pack as well, which are $2.50, so they're in the nice same scripty font. And then on the next page to that, you've got this extra page. So there's, there is actually another page which I've glued down, and it was a week by week. So I, for the purposes of this, I don't need a week by week as well as a month to view. If you're a person that does a lot of detail, then um, you, know, you might decide you need all three spreads. I just use the month to view and then this one and you can see it's it's kind of I've stuck them down because again you've got this is the format it looks like on those pages I've hidden so there's four weeks on these plus an extra week in case it's a long month you've got stuff to remember things you want to get done a wish list and goals so I generally write down here just reminders of things deadlines that are birthdays and things that I need to make for things that I want to get done maybe stuff that I'm behind on Each list is obviously things like crafting goodies that I want to buy um, and then goals um, as well you could use that for things you want to achieve so I just love it I love the small size of it it's easy for me to keep with me rather than carrying this bulky book around so that is something that I've been loving I'm happy to recommend it the next thing that I really enjoyed that was new for me in April was Diane Reevely's um, Dilusions day by day YouTube playlist so I'm just going to be flicking through now showing you what that looks like if you're not familiar with Diane well you you probably should be she is absolutely amazing she's so inspirational to me she's from the north of England similar to me and um, I love listening to her accent it reminds me of home but her style is very different it's very unusual I would say it, it is actually art that she does you know I don't consider what I do as art but she has such an amazing talent that I have absolutely loved it so whilst the UK has been in lockdown with Covid so every day in April she has been sharing a YouTube video some of them are like half an hour long and I know how long it takes even to put a 10 minute video together I know I can probably spend at least three hours so the fact that she's been able to do this on a daily basis as she's working through her journal as you can see here and it's just it's so relaxed it's lovely it's like 
um, just sitting there talking to a friend. She's muttering away and she's chatting, talking about her life as she's creating, sharing tips as well, obviously. So if you've not come across her playlist or her channel or even Diane herself, she's she's heavily involved in Ranger, so I'm pretty sure a lot of people would have heard of her. But if not, if you didn't know she was doing a day by day in April, you've got some binge watching to catch up on and I highly recommend it. So that has been my daily fix throughout April whilst we are in this, this uneasy time of restrictions and lockdown and quarantine. The other thing that's entered my craft room virtually, as Diana's, is the scrapbook.com podcast. And again, I just want to show you where you can find that. I use it on my iPhone. So there's quite a few podcasts on there now, and I absolutely love it. Again, Diane's actually on there, and it was after listening to her podcast on there that I could I realised I could relate to so much of it, you know, her, her background growing up, the challenges she faces and a lot of the crafters that we know and love, when you hear them talk about the personal life, you, this is why we craft, you know, it's very cathartic and it's therapy in a way and the amount of people that are on there, they're all kind of superstars, you know, you'll, you can see them on the screen now, there's Heidi Swap, there's all kinds of great crafters and creators on there that are giving you an insight to their life, so I would definitely check out scrapbook.com's podcast if you've not heard of it it's obviously it's free there's no charge for it so um give it a go why not give it a go the other thing that's new in my craft room is the least we forget collection from again from control creation so i am part of the design team a guest creator for the next three months you may have seen the layout i did this time last year i always do like an anzac themed layout in april and i was super grateful that i received this in the mail from them so this is a collection i did i've made a card i'll give you a sneak peek of memory decks card that's going to be uploaded as well pretty soon so definitely check it out if you like this kind of style i've got a little booklet here because i haven't got all of the papers now i've more or less used them all um, the only one I've got left is this and I've definitely got something in mind for that um, but they do all kinds of stamps they do dies beautiful collection a great Australian collection this is my favorite one which is why I'm sharing it with you now I do have a little bit of a blog spot on Couture Creations website so I'm going to link that to it as well so if you wanted to see this process come together that's the place to have a look at it and you'll see how I created my little poppies and so on so I'd love you to check that out and that is it for something new so i hope you've liked a review of my month of april i've been um it's been a challenge for me i've been working from home um as well as homeschooling and i've absolutely loved the extra time with the family but i've been a little bit more conscious of being a bit more present for them as well as being able to craft for my own pleasure i haven't been sharing as much on instagram not been doing as much creative stuff as i normally would because i've obviously been spending a bit more time with the family not a lot is actually change for me in terms of going out I don't I'm not missing the social aspect too much other than maybe going out for a drink in the evening or going to a restaurant I'm not the most social person and um, I'm quite introverted so I love my own space and I love being at home so in that respect it's not been a challenge for me it's just more now I guess a challenge of managing my time a little bit better so I hope April was a good month for you despite all of this chaos that's going around in the world. Please stay safe. Thank you for watching and stay safe.